Hey, good afternoon. I'm John Rhodes. This is Rhodes Life Coaching, and I wanted to ask you to try a test with me today. Uh, in previous conversations and in previous work that I've done, I've had discussions about whether people are givers or takers, and actually doing exercises around being able to assess that based on first impressions, based on getting to know people, and our perceptions around whether being a giver or a taker is a good or bad thing. We sometimes have some strange ideas about what being a giver and taker is and whether it's selfish to be a taker and our negative connotation of it being of, of that being a taker is a bad thing. But there's also negative things to being a giver and that neither one of them is really good or bad and that a healthy balance for a healthy person is to have some of both, being able to be both a giver and taker depending on the situation and scenario. If we give too much and give all the time and give ourselves away, it diminishes our value and self-worth and that it's possible to have a negative connotation and way of being a giver. So here's an exercise I'd like you to try. And forgive me if it's a, maybe a little morbid, but to think about, you and I are running down the gangplank of the Titanic. We get to the bottom of the gangplank and it's the last lifeboat and there's only one seat left in the lifeboat. When we get to the bottom of the gangplank, who's going to get in that seat? In previous versions of myself, I would have gladly given you that seat. I would have given up my life in order for you to have that seat in, in the lifeboat. That might be the healthy example, that might be the healthy time to do that, to be a giver, but it isn't always. Because if I give you that seat in the lifeboat, then I am literally taking the value of my life to zero. There isn't anything future that I can give in that extreme example. And the reason for that example is to push it to the extreme to see where what is the correct answer. For some of us, we always give so much that there's nothing left of us at the end of the day. That's a, a version of codependence, an extreme version of it, but it is, ends up being a kind of a dangerous thing because there isn't anything left to give after a certain amount of time or to a certain uh, degree. Now, whether or not you or I should get into that seat in the lifeboat is a completely different conversation. How to decide that is a whole nother conversation. But at a minimum, the giver and taker of there should be either a very strenuous conversation at the bottom of that gangplank or some way of deciding whether it is a very quick decision but if I'm giving everything up for someone else there's nothing left of me to give so how does that apply to you where are there areas in your life some of us are takers all the time and we may not even realize it but some of us are also givers all the time, and both of those scenarios are not healthy. Where are there opportunities for you to be as valuable as the person next to you going through the day? Where are there opportunities for you to see that you, the person next to you is just as valuable as you, and that you both have a right to that seat in the lifeboat? And figuring it out might be a more complicated decision than a snap judgment. How would you make that decision? How would you see that value and worth in yourself? And where are there areas that that's missing for you on a daily basis and needs to be applied? I'd be happy to continue this conversation. It's a really powerful one. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to share them below. I'm John Rhodes. This is Rhodes Life Coaching. I hope you're able to find purpose and meaning in daily life.